gonna finish the um, edit section on this uh, toolbar. Um, the next thing we're gonna talk about is to balance the clips. Um, balancing mean is if um, you have like several different audio tracks and you want to combine them and just make it all those sounds to one track that would be bouncing but bounce the clip is a little different um, let's just say if I uh, let's say if I did this let's say I just wanted to change this sound <laughs> Sometimes when I'll edit like certain sections of, of a beat or a song and I'll cut it up. So let's say I cut it up like this, right? So let's say I wanted this over here and that over there and rearrange it. Now, as of right now, it's four different clips. One, two, three, four. But let's just say I since I rearranged it and I want to make it one clip again, all I have to do is just highlight it, go to edit and bounce to clip that would keep it on that one track if I was to bounce the track it will make a whole new track or I can put it on a different track so that's the difference between bounce the clip and bounce the track bounce the clip is going to keep it on the same track bounce the track is going to put it on another track so let's see I'm gonna bounce to, to clip All right, come on, come on. With this uh, recording software, I got recording this video kind of slows things down. Okay, so as you can see, it made it one clip again. It's not separate clips like it was before, and that's the whole point of bounce the clips. Let's reverse that. And of course, if I was to do bounce the tracks, it would just put it on a whole new track. Uh, what's next? Clip lock. Basically, um, if you want to uh, lock a certain clip or a whole track, you would do um, lock position, meaning that you won't be able to move it around. Which I guess that could be useful if you have a lot of different clips and you may accidentally move another clip I've done that before but um, if you have that problem you can always lock that clip that way you won't accidentally move a section of a, a song um, and then lock data again you'll, you'll lock all the data that's there with the audio whatever you've done to it whether it be crossfades um, like this stuff like that you won't be able to undo it if you have it locked Um, mute and unmute. Mute just mean cut off the sound. You can't hear it. So if I just mute it, hit play, you don't hear anything. And you can also mute clips as well. Now, er the uh, earlier versions of Sonar, you cannot do that. That's one feature they had added on. When I say earlier, I, I want to say like Sonar 4, you probably can't do it. Um, I'm sure all the LE and the music creator, as long as the updated LEs, I think they have that feature, but some may not. Where you can mute the track, but you can't mute clips. Like if I do this and I just want to mute just that clip, see, I can mute that and have the other section playing. So that's pretty much what mute clipping is. All right, so now the next thing we're going to go into is um, V vocal. Um, which I'm not get too much into it because I made a whole video on V vocal by itself. But basically, V vocal is kind of like auto tones. You can adjust the tone um, of your voice. You can stretch it. You can kind of make it sound like more like a female, or make it you know sound of the format of your voice to more like a male. Um, 
is basically just a vocal tool. Let's say I was singing a line and at the last word, um, I didn't hold the note long enough. I can stretch that note longer. So it's just a vocal tool that you can use. Um, if you want a lot more detail about V vocal, search um, how to get T pain effect or um, just search V vocal. You should you should find my video. Cakewalk has some videos on V vocal as well.